Hi students, welcome to Engineering Graphics, Intersection of Solids, Prisms and Prisms 2. This is Prisms and Prisms 2. Prisms and Prisms 2. This is a vertical prism, vertical square prism again, and it is penetrated by another horizontal square prism, but the two axes are not intersecting. In Prism and Prism 1, that is in the first video of Intersection of Solids, Intersection 1, the horizontal prism axis was cutting the vertical prism axis. Here, the horizontal prism axis does not cut the vertical prism axis, but it passes through a small distance, 5 mm away. What is the plan of the vertical prism? Same, black. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, so on. In viewers, same plan elevation and envy of the vertical square prism, same. What about the horizontal square prism? Horizontal square prism, instead of going like this, goes a little bit away, 5 mm away. It doesn't make any difference in the elevation. Elevation is same 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, 4 dash, 5 dash, 6 dash, 7 dash, 8 dash. But in the plan, the whole thing is shifted down. The whole thing is shifted down. This is the center of the horizontal vertical prism. This is the center of the horizontal prism that is offset by a distance 5 mm. This distance is 5 mm. That means this gap is small and this gap is big. Agreed? And in the NV you can see it is shifted to the right 5 mm. You can shift it to the left also. I prefer to shift it to the right. When I shift it to the right, what happens? The horizontal prism axis is away from VP. Or the horizontal prism axis is 5 mm in front of vertical prism axis. Agree? Now, same procedure we will adopt here. What procedure? We will mark the points where the horizontal prism edge just cut the vertical prism. The horizontal prism edge point 1.5 cut the vertical prism at P1. 2.6 will cut at P2. 3.7 will cut at P3. 4.8 will cut at P4. Similarly, Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4. Let it be there, we will join it later. Let's go to the elevation. P1 when projected, P1 is on 1.5. When it is projected, you will get P1 dash here. P1 dash will not come at this intersection, it will be a little bit to the right side. Similarly, it is on the same projector, P3 dash. When you drop a, when you project P2, it will not coincide with the P4, it will be independent P2 dash, P4 also will be independent P4 dash. Similarly, you will get Q1 dash here, Q3 dash here. Q4 dash here and Q2 dash here. Now, the question is, is it sufficient? Is it sufficient? In the first case, the vertical prism edge, A, E, A, E, A dash, E dash, A dash, E dash was cut by the horizontal prism, 1, 5. Here, since it is moving, a moving it is moved a little distance to the, infrared, to the front, this Horizontal edge 1, 5 will not cut this AE, but this AE will cut the surface of the horizontal prism. Where is AE cutting it? It is here. I call this M double dash, N double dash, M1 double dash, N1 double dash. M double dash, N double dash on A double dash, E double dash. M1 double dash, N1 double dash on C double dash, G double dash. M and N on this side, M1 and N1 on the other side. That's all. Okay. Where are they? Draw horizontal lines and come to the elevation. M dash, M1 dash, draw horizontal line. N dash, N1 dash. You have to draw horizontal line. I am not drawing throughout, you have to draw horizontal line. So, at A you have got M comma N, at C you have got M1 comma N1. Now connect, connect them in the plan. Come to the corner and then go. Here also it comes to the corner and go. In the session cup, this will be dotted, this will be dotted, this will be dotted. In the session cup, when the plan is over, when you come to the elevation, P1 dash, P2 dash, P2 dash, P3 dash, 
p3 dash n dash n dash p4 dash p4 dash m dash m dash p1 dash on the left side q1 dash q2 dash q2 dash q3 dash q3 dash n dash n dash q4 dash q4 dash m dash m dash q1 dash on the right side as a result of which this will become dotted this will become dotted this will become dotted this this disappear and this small portion will be dotted this is the intersection curve in the this is the intersection curve in derivation this is the intersection curve in derivation this question also has come so many times for the examination i hope you understand a reasonable question reasonable question only thing you have to remember is for part is this this will be parallel this will be parallel to this 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 if the parallelism is lost it means that you have gone from gone from somewhere agreed now as i said this is moved to this direction by phi mm if you move it in this direction by phi mm what happens or some distance what happens this become dotted this become dotted this become form this become form this dotted this dotted this form this form these small four pieces remain to be dotted they will not become form those small four pieces remain to be dotted itself they cannot become form because they come within this boundary within this boundary if they come within this boundary anything in this side of this boundary will be invisible so dotted that's all i hope you understood so this phi mm is given so that it doesn't go out. if you give 10 mm it will go out. we will do a problem when the distance given is 10 mm that that's a third question okay thank you